All right, I'm here with Joey Gilbert from Joey Gilbert Law. No, I'm not in trouble, but Joey, I followed you through your career, boxing up at Lake Tahoe back when it was Caesars, to today, right? You've got a successful law practice, also a family man. How's the transition been? It's been pretty awesome. You know, moving from full-time fighter to a full-time dad has been a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I, I really love the time I get to spend with my daughter, and so it's probably one of the things I put as one of my big, biggest priorities. So back in the day when you were on The Contender, watching you on the show uh, week in, week out, it's hard to believe that an eight-year-old's now the boss? Oh, yeah. My daughter, Ayala, she definitely wears pants, which is which is interesting, but she's taught me so much yeah. in terms of being patient and, you know, to have a little bit less of an ego and, and just, you know, be more humble in life in general. So it's been very rewarding. So landscape's changed a lot in the last 20 years. What's new on the horizon now? Legalization of marijuana? How has that impacted, you know, where people need your help, legal help? Well, you know, legalization of cannabis across, you know, the country has been taking place. We definitely have seen a lot of it more on the West Coast here, Oregon, Washington, California, Nevada. So it's it's been very interesting. At the same time, I'm one of those people that is a, a believer in cannabis. I don't believe anybody should be being locked up or mm -hmm. put in jail for using this plant. It's not a Schedule One. It's not nearly as harmful as some of these prescription drugs and, and even alcohol. In my personal opinion, right. and based on my experience, what I've seen. So ushering this in this new era in has been amazing. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to some of the laws getting a little bit more relaxed, more accepting, and definitely getting some of these you know violations, felonies, and, and whatnot off people's uh, records in the past so they can get a great job and move forward. So it's been a great experience. You've always been an advocate for people's rights. Uh, what are some of the issues, you know, related from cannabis that you're seeing that are impacting those rights? Well, I think some of the rights we're seeing impact is just freedom to go about using a medicine or something that works for them. You still have a lot of laws, a lot of employment, uh, employment places that won't allow it. And of course, federally, it's still illegal. So people are still, you know, rightfully so worried about it. And I just like to see that change a little more. I think we're in that direction every, every year we see more elections taking place where states are becoming more friendly with it. So I uh, just want to see it, you know, become more mainstream. You're always generous with your time for us. I'm assuming being that you're as successful as you are, maybe you're still taking uh, new clients or, or not? Oh, we definitely take new clients around here. You know, we work in a few different areas. Like I said before, we do um, criminal defense, personal injury, um, immigration, and then I do special, special use law, which deals with all the compliance issues yeah. and getting cannabis companies up and going. All right, real quick, where are we located what's the best way to get in touch with you best way to get in touch with me is just search joey gilbert law go online and search it but we're located downtown in reno 201 west liberty street suite 210 all right joey thanks for taking the time for sure good luck with the eight-year-old i've got one myself so thank you for now we'll send it back to you in the south shore studios